here being a good old boy, a responsible adult at least, and doing my thing as far as meal prep is concerned, because that's essential. You know, you can't go on with life, you can't make it through your Mondays, especially as horrible and as terrible as they are to deal with firsthand, without being properly nutriated or nutri whatever the fuck. Without getting your proper nutrients in for a Monday, because you know, you're in for a handful, you're in for a fucking headache. And some heartache. Demon with Monday. Back with another episode, of course. Just stressing the fact that we gotta be adults here. We gotta prep our meals for the rest of the week. Just because, you know what? We gotta go through all that just like anybody else does. Unless you're fucking rich or ready to like, you know. Do whatever you got to with your life. Now, what am I prepping? I'm prepping myself for the rest of the week at least. I got enough chicken here to prep. As far as chicken parm is concerned. I'm a fan. I'm a fiend for it. I've learned to make it over time. I'm not a chef. I'm not saying I'm an expert either. But goddamn, I think at this point I am pretty good at making this. And holding myself down with some good old fashioned chicken parm. And as I prep and as I'm here doing it. Listen, it's just me being responsible. There's also the fact that I haven't done my taxes yet. It's only what the end of March right now coming up on us. So I got time per se, technically, but not as much time as I thought I did originally. It's kind of like blinking, you miss it, next thing you know, it's already beginning of April, and then what is it, the cutoff day, like the 15th, 17th, whatever? Then you gotta do fucking taxes, which I ain't looking forward to, because you know what? I get hit every year for some reason. I don't know why. Technically, according to Uncle Sam, I make too much, as is already, enough where I gotta start paying back. But I don't, because... I got to pay so much for health insurance every couple of weeks out of my paycheck, by the way. And the funny thing is, too, about that, meal prep, of course, is that if I decline health insurance, the one provided to me by my employer, I end up paying more in the sense of I got to pay more out of pocket for whatever insurance I do get through the, at least from New York, New York State marketplace. Which, ironic enough, since I work for healthcare, I would think maybe not discount, but at least they'd be more forgiven to me because I'm a healthcare employee in the industry. I know the ins and outs. I know how intricate it gets, how annoying it gets to fucking even have to deal with that whole ordeal. If you have or you don't have insurance, you know, it's just a fucking headache in the, to begin with now. Because now that our employer changed our policies, on top of all that last year, conveniently enough for them, I'm assuming... They put us with a plan that was literally the cheapest option possible. It's still a couple of hundred dollars a month. Well, just under a couple of hundred, but still. Now I got a deductible, which is 1500 and that's nothing to fucking, you know, be proud of. But the fact is, I have a deductible now. I didn't before the last couple of years, but they decided to change the plan. It was best suited for them to do so. With that now, $1,500 is what I got to pretty much pay for out of pocket throughout the whole year before the plan actually kicks in and pays anything off. I know this firsthand already because this is what I deal with as far as working with health insurance concerned. So, I'm not one to go to the doctor, but now recently I've had to go. Nothing, you know, health concern related, but just to check up, just... Um, things they gotta do in advance to prep for other things, you know, so, uh, I had to deal with that, and now I'm just waiting for the fucking bill, literally, to come in, as far as deductibles concerned, and deal with that, see how much it costs, for something as simple as, basically, the doctor telling me, okay, squat down, see if you can hold that for like 5-10 seconds, okay, good, you're physically ready to go, nothing wrong with you, you don't smoke, drink, have unprotected sex, uh, anything crazy of that sort, so you should be in pristine health. You're just a little overweight. I mean, that's normal, you know. I, I got some pounds on me I gotta lose. I'm sure some of us do, and if you don't, good for you. But if you do, like me, then you know the fucking vibes. You know the struggle, better yet said. Not so much the struggle, it's just annoying to have to fucking lose weight already. And, like, I wouldn't consider myself fat. I'm a little heavier than I should be. I'm probably walking around like 15 pounds heavier than I should be, ideally, but it's not like I'm sloppy fat either, like I got, you know, if you're watching the video, the pecs are popping, 
I definitely work on chest and bleed firmly in chest day. Obviously, as you can see proof right there, but that's besides the point. I'm just trying to get by, you know, trying to make things happen and trying to make sure everything's, you know, all right and spoken for and or taken care of. Which gets hard to do each day because everything gets more annoying, to be honest. That's what it is. As with fucking Monday coming up again, creeping up on us again, as does every fucking Monday. You know, I think it's a while before we get another holiday Monday. And now to boot, on top of everything too, I'm going to have to play the good Catholic boy because apparently my girlfriend, who I do love and adore very much, I find to be annoying with some of her traits as far as what she believes in. Now, I'm not against religion, as every other Hispanic boy and girl from a certain age has been brought up to be. I was brought up Catholic, baptized and such too. Did I end up being a good Catholic as far as like following through on everything and or really being in church like that as often as I should be besides the one time a year for Easter like everybody else does? No. But now because she is a firm church going girl, or at least now since the pandemic and such, we've had to like, uh, you know, attend virtually or online via YouTube with a live service version every Sunday morning. Now, here comes the month I loathe most. No offense to nobody who does look forward to it, but I don't just because literally I got to stay off meat. Holy shit, I just realized I'm doing chicken. Oh no, I, I, can, I have to stay off the red meat, but she doesn't like chicken too often nowadays because, you know, this is now, what is it, the month that, like, uh, Jesus or something was announced to be born, March 25th, and then nine months later, three plus nine makes 12, so December 25th, Jesus is born. Oh shit, that's what it is then. It is exactly nine months. I, I never paid attention to this. I never knew this, to be honest. Or maybe I was told this, but I just never paid attention enough to like even take that into consideration. So, you know, because we all look forward to Christmas so much and like the gifts and the gift giving and like returning shit to the store and or getting some coupons or vouchers in exchange at least two or just Amazon, like at least get it to us within a day or two or something like that. But never even came to me up until now. So she's fucking right. Oh, my God, I'm a fucking dummy. But whatever. I just I guess I just wasn't paying attention in church if anything, too. To think March 25th plus nine months makes December 25th. That's Christmas. You know, uh, Jesus is born day. You know, as many times as he's gone around the sun when he was here in human form or whatever you believe in. If you do, you don't. Whatever. It's just Christmas. Santa's day. You know? Oh, shit. Hopefully, wait, is Christmas on a Monday this year? Does anyone know? If you know, leave it in the comments. I don't know, just to make sure. God damn it. I don't fucking know, but either way, it might as well be a fucking Monday at this point, too. We're creeping up on Monday right now as we speak, because you're getting this on Monday before actual Monday, you know, when I'm recording this. Monday morning, though, of course. Oh, here we go again with this Monday bullshit. As always, every fucking week, we can wake out! Goddamn. But still, I think the only thing that can make a Monday tolerable and or not even better, but like at least, you know, bearable, like, eh, fucking Monday, you know, uh, reduce it from, God damn it, Monday, to like at least, eh, it's Monday. Might be if Monday became new official payday. But I'm glad it's Friday every other two weeks. That's fine with me. You know, it's Friday. Good enough vibes as is. Looking forward to it. It's the day before the weekend. You know, uh, literally. And you get paid on top of that every other Friday. So I think that's good enough as is. It's like a really fucking... It's, it's overdoing it to be honest with Friday. Friday's already good enough without having to be payday too every other Friday. But I think Monday could benefit from actually being a new official payday. I think. I'm just throwing it out there. Maybe I'm wrong. Most likely I'm wrong. I might have to think about it. Give me like another week or so to get to the next Monday. And then I'll probably consider it wrong and just leave it at Friday. Friday's good enough to be an, uh, uh, all-inclusive as far as everything good goes. Monday mornings. Thanks for joining me again here on another installment of Monday mornings. I'm Who This. At Who This Is One on all the platforms. Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube. Twitch, twitch.tv backslash who this is one for live versions of my movie review podcast, Who This Been Watching. Twitch.tv backslash who this is one live Saturdays, 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. YouTube.com for all the video versions of this Monday morning, as well as who this been watching, as well as, oh, fuck it. Thanks for tuning in. I'm sorry that we have to mourn the coming of another Monday, but that's what it is right now until we drop dead, and then hopefully we don't drop dead on the Monday so we don't bother anybody with having to die during the week, 
or if you get buried during the week, then, you know, might as well be Monday because no one will show up and then they can leave you the fuck alone in life and in spirit world, whatever you believe in, too. Peace. Thanks. See you next Monday. Fuck Mondays. Can't spell mundane without Monday. Don't forget that shit. That's the whole point of Monday. Yo, Mondays. it's over. All right. It's over. It's over. Yeah. Move the mic. Move the mic. Thank you. All right.